You know, when you're on the golf course, it's really important to learn to control your trajectory as, long, as well as your curve. A lot of people talk about the curve, the draw, the cut, the intentional shot. But it's funny when it gets really windy, or it's really funny when you're in the trees and you need to keep a ball down. Well, if you're this type of player that scoops and goes this way, you're not gonna be very good at that. And chances are, you're probably not a great pitcher of the ball or a chipper because you have too much scoop and you're adding loft all the time. What I like to do with the net, I challenge myself and I pretend that if you look at the number two and the four, I wanna drive it almost underneath that. And to do that, I certainly can't be back here scooping and adding loft, hitting it up into the top of the net like many of you would. So if you go face on, the look is gonna be a fairly short backswing like this. And then you're gonna see my chest stay right on top of the ball. You're gonna see a post impact that's abbreviated toe of the club is up, and this kind of reminds me of that post-impact drill where you're extending and stopping. And take a look at the shots that I'm gonna to try to hit here. Choke down on the club, play it in the center of the stance, back. Notice how I, drill, I really hit that solid, and it went very straight. It went right over the center, but notice how low it went, and boy, was that solid contact. I'll do it again. Choke down a little bit, a little punch. There it is again, arms extended. A lot of you that are hitting it high are always like this, and you're finishing way up here. Chances are your impact looks a lot like this instead of like this. So drive it, extend it, and hit a knockdown. It's good for you, and use the net to keep it underneath that center section right there of the net. You know, I had a student that kept saying to me, Rick, this is years ago, I was at Scioto Country Club in Columbus, Ohio. And the story, there was a big tree on the practice range, and there was this person that hit the ball really, really low. And the goal was, I said to that person, I said, look, you're gonna come out here with a bag of balls every day and you're gonna learn to hit it over that tree. So I put that student about, say, 30 yards behind the tree or 40 yards behind the tree and I had him trying to hit it up because he hit so much forward lean, so much driving of the trunk that he could never get the ball up in the air. So typically, I want you to first visualize trying to hit the ball high and to do that, it's a little bit of the opposite of hitting the ball low. When your chest is forward and you're covering, your hands are in front. The high shot, I feel like the shaft is really almost working this way a little bit with the spine tilted back. And, and then I go ahead and still extend, but that's going to help me to add a little loft. So a high shot, the ball position is going to go forward a little bit. And I like to hit a little cut shot over a tree where I'll set up a little bit open. This will help me to hit it higher, and I'll go back. I'll hang back a little bit, and I'll try to hit a shot that really feels like the club's working a little bit more in front of me here. So I'll go back. There it is. Notice how that almost hit the number three versus hitting those shots that I was hitting the knockdown so low. So again, what's happening here? I feel like I'm a little bit, balls forward a little bit, and I'll let the club almost restore. I'll feel like it's coming back this way a little bit at impact versus feeling like I'm this way driving it low. That's the difference. So get into your net, open up the stance a little, open the face and go back and try to hit it almost over the center section and you'll start feeling like you can hit it up again. So, you know, you can get behind a tree, you have an option, you go under or you go over it. You gotta have all the shots to be a great complete player.